body checks are a very important theme in the endgame rook and pawns were this king and pawns in Aronia and Gelfand, Geomog 2009, Black's Rook will be lost very soon, and White is winning. But Aronian had to avoid a few traps or yeah, mistakes, and, and he avoided them, of course. King b7, okay, that's clear. Black loses the Rook. And now, shall the King take or the Rook? One wins and one draws. Take your time. Think and decide for yourself first. Of course, the king shall not take. It's now further away and the rook on a4 is not so well placed after all, because this in uh, this circumstance, the cutoff is not sufficient. The king comes directly, then Rack draws by preparing a body check. Typical technique. Body check, and it's a draw. And after checking, the cutoff on the fourth rank is insufficient. A cutter from the fifth rank would, would win, but a cutter from the fourth rank is not sufficient. Black's g pawn forces the rook to be passive, and now black draws by, you guessed it, preparing a body check. It's given by Krasenkov in Shakespeare's magazine 132. Body check, and it's a draw. So, white has to take with the rook. Yeah, now black could try to, to give a body check, but, or, or wire f3, but he cannot go to e4 to set a body check, and now white will win the f-pawn first in the game later. So, Gilfan took with the pawn, but it didn't help. And now <laughs> Aronian played a nice move, a technique to avoid body checks. Rogue f7, but it's unnecessary. King d4 wins as well, because now body check. And white wins. But rook f7 is a nice move to <laughs> avoid any body checks, and this wins as well. So Gelfand resigned. As a typical end of such race would be like this. The g-pawn falls, and so it's over.